All right, guys, I need to tell you something. I absolutely love Kamala Harris. This is not a bit. The reason why I love Kamala Harris, and I think she's going to be the best president like ever. First off, she's a woman. That is important. Ever live with a woman? You know what it's like living with a woman? You know what it's like living with a woman? Then you know what I'm talking about. Women are very subtle creatures, okay? Men are more direct. We need someone in there that's very subtle. That's very good for a politician. You need someone that when they say stuff, they're kind of expecting you to kind of read their mind. And if you don't do it correctly, they're going to remind you that it's your fault or bring up stuff from the past that you thought was done, that was let go. No, you need someone like that. He might say it's a little vindictive, whatever, but you need someone who's vindictive and subtle and can play little mind games with people. That is a very womanly trait. And Kamala has that in spades. Love you, Kamala. Love you, Queen. And then other reason why I love her, the reason why I think she'll be the best president like ever, the second reason is because, uh, bro, I love all these people coming across the border. I love the fact that we have these strangers coming across. You call me illegals, I call them strangers. And what is a stranger? A friend you haven't made yet. Absolutely. Love you, Kamala. Bring them in more. What you're going to tell me? You're heartless. You're going to tell me you don't invite strangers into your home? You're Oh, wait, shut. Okay, hold on. You're telling me when you moved into your neighborhood, you didn't do a housewarming party to invite people in? Hmm? Did you not invite people that are around you? You're like, hey, come. Check out my home. Check out my food. You didn't do that? What? Are you some sort of shut-in? That's kind of what you are what you do. Okay, that's a very community thing to do. Come on, live a little. And so we were like, oh, but they bring drugs. Uh, you mean party favors? What, are you some sort of prude now? Some sort of hall monitor? What, are you a cop? What, even cops do drugs. What are you talking about? I remember, I remember the college days. I know your college days. I was there. I saw what you did. <laughs> okay, hey. If you can't control yourself, sounds like a you issue. If you don't know your limitations, well, bro, sounds like a you issue. What? Just learn how to party better. What can I tell you? And um, don't be such a butt, okay? Like, bro, have a heart, okay? Just let all sorts of people come in your house. That's great. Be nice. Love you, Kamala. The next reason why I love her, and I think Kamala Harris will be the best president like ever, is because... Bro, she's be bombing people left and right. And that's great. I love that, don't you? She's be bombing people left and right for Israel, for for countries we don't even really like why you say, but because we're generous, we're nice. We're like, hey Israel, is there a is there a village in Palestine you need us to bomb? Are there kids there? Oh, even better. Let's just bombard it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. High five. That's why I love Kamala. Why I think she's just going to be the best president like ever. Right? <laughs> Don't worry, Kamala. I have your back. With my votes, my many votes for you. Don't worry. I I, I will vote as many times as needed. Your, your butt, your rear end is going to be sitting in that seat. You're going to be sitting in the Oval Office. Uh, office. I, most, I most definitely won't be there so you can sit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> I was getting, I was getting a little too carried away there. They control myself. <sighs> Love you, Kamala. A, a Kamala presidency is just gonna be a party all the time in America. Party all the time, all the time. People are worried. They'd be like, "Well, she doesn't answer questions, bro." Have you ever thought that maybe you're asking dumb questions? Have you thought about that? Maybe you should. You know, not every question is good, and sometimes when you ask dumb questions, it's like, why? You kind of stink the room. You know that awkward laugh she does? Have you ever thought that maybe she's awkwardly laughing because someone farted in the room with their words? These dumb questions people ask. The Queen Kamala doesn't have time for these dumb questions. Okay? Like, stop asking about the economy. Inflation's... Uh, there's a lot of inflation. Make more money. Make more money. I gotta tell you. Or, okay? Like, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to give you ways to make money. Okay? All right? They're trying to... Decriminalize things so you could be part of that, okay? Or how about don't live in a house? Get a tent, live on the street. You could do that, okay? Have you thought about that? Learn how to budget, okay? Pfft, okay? Or maybe be aware of many of the opportunities that you could do to take advantage of free money from the government. How about that, okay? Pfft. Don't be a Debbie Downer or a negative Nancy because you didn't do it, okay? 
I know when that stimmy money comes around, you don't say no to it, do you? No. No, you don't. Because that's how that works. You like taking handouts from the government, too. <laughs> Come on, I love you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, a lot of people are worried. I think it's going to be super duper, super great. I mean, what's not to love? It's going to be America as it should be, ruled by someone who is going to be more subtle, is going to be not very direct, to be vindictive. You know, it's going to be great. I love it. And that's the reason why I think you should love it, too. So, yeah. Uh, Y'all take it easy. And um, Kamala, number one, all the way, forever and ever.